In the first part of these Making Connection videos, we looked at how to connect FL Studio to third-party applications via the Rewire protocol. In the second portion, we'll take a look at how to connect FL Studio to your host application as a VST instrument. An example of such host could be your favorite DAW application. You may be wondering if there are any advantages in choosing the VST instrument route over the Rewire route or vice versa. In short, there are none really. It's merely a choice of preference. Another situation is perhaps your DAW application that you wish to host FL Studio with does not support running Rewire in host mode, such as Ableton's Live. Then you would want to connect to FL Studio as a VST instrument. To access FL Studio as a VST instrument, you would follow the same steps that you would take to add any other VST instrument in your host. Upon doing so, you will see the FL Studio floating interface window. As FL Studio is a full screen program, the interface cannot be accessed from a window within your host application. Therefore, what we do have is this smaller interface window. To access the full interface of FL Studio, you only need to click on the FL Studio logo. Upon doing so, the program will appear. Now, there are a few things I'd like to point out here. Unlike most VST instruments, FL Studio does not require a MIDI track and or any other data to be sent to it from the host in order to produce any sound. FL Studio will work much as it does when used via Rewire. The audio from either your pattern or playlist from FL Studio will be passed to the VSD instrument track on your host application. Synchronization is also sent from the host to the FL Studio VSD instrument. When you wish to return to your host application, simply close the FL Studio interface. Unlike the rewire connection, even if FL Studio does not appear on the screen, does not mean it's not running. 